Hi again everyone, this is Julie Viotoro, your stateside correspondent, and I'm here to give you my top five favorite romantic movies. So, I'll have to admit these are all incredibly cliche, but that's only because I'm such a romantic at heart, so you'll have to humor me on this one. And again, these are in no particular order, but I figured let's start with the first one that comes to mind, which I think a lot of hopeless romantics will also agree that The Notebook is one of the best romantic movies ever made. <laughs> um, what's not to love about The Notebook? Not only are the stars of the movie incredible, Rachel McAdams and, and Ryan Gosling, they had immediate chemistry upon, I think, auditioning. It was a, a, like an immediate recognition that these two were made for these characters. Um, I also love the concept of these two crazy kids falling in love at a young age and then being separated by circumstances outside of their control and then to be reunited and to have all of these feelings of, I don't know, just a long lost love to be reintroduced to your life and to be able to just, I don't know, just want to throw everything out the window so you could be with that person. That's so romantic. I don't know if it would actually work in real life, but <laughs> it's nice to, um, to dream otherwise. Um, number two on my list is Titanic. I mean, I'll never let go, Jack. I mean, come on. She let go. She really, she definitely let go, but um, I think he lived in her heart forever. Um, I remember seeing that movie when I was maybe 10 years old and bawling my eyes out towards the the, the second half of the film because, I mean, these two kids were just from two different worlds. And to be able to find a common ground, which was what? Just wanting to be, to balance each other out, I guess? I think that's, that's beautiful. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, number three on my list, and this is a random one, but I figured this will be for like the, uh, the thriller, the thriller loving guys out there is True Romance with um, Christian, what's his name? Christian, can't remember his name, Christian Slater <laughs> and Patricia Arquette. I mean, it's a Quentin, Tar Tar Quentin Tarantino film <laughs> and um, I just, it's, it's a great movie, I think. You know, this guy moves to, I don't think he moved anywhere, but <laughs> um, he falls in love with this random girl that he meets, meets in the movie theater and they just have this whirlwind wh romance where they're like Bonnie and Clyde incarnate and just go off kicking ass and falling in love in the meantime. And it's a great action, a great action film in my opinion and Quentin Tarantino never, never ceases to disappoint me. So <laughs> that's another great, great film. Um, number four, and this is another kind of, this is a comedy. I figure I might as well throw a little different, a couple different genres in here. Um, also starring Patricia Arquette and Adam Sandler is Little Nicky. <laughs> and I know it's a random one, but just because it's a comedy, it's super cute. Um, you know, this guy that, <laughs> that's the devil's son comes back or get swept up in earth and falls in love with this quirky girl he meets in New York and he has to battle all these demons and all this stuff but can still find the time to fall in love with somebody which is so, so cute, so sweet. And she's just the cutest character in that film. I just, I loved it. And, um, okay, so number five, this one, I have a special place in my heart for. And I don't know, this might be my favorite romantic film of all time but it's uh, My Best Friend's Wedding with Julia Roberts and Dermot Mul Mulroney. I'll have to admit that I had a, a best friend that I thought was like the love of my life, my better half, the whole thing. And he did end up getting married to somebody else and I remember being at that wedding just completely crushed and just, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. But I don't know, I felt like My Best Friend's Wedding was a pretty, pretty good depiction of that except it, it was just on a different scale altogether these two rad professions and had known each other forever and managed to keep in touch for all that amount of time and and um, at the end even though Julie Roberts's character was still very much in love with Dermot Mulroney's character she was able to put her issues aside granted with a lot of drama and a lot of hilarity <laughs> and shenanigans but she was still able to to put her pride aside her her desires to be with him and wish him 
happiness with his beloved Cameron Diaz's character. And I don't know, I think that was a really, that was a really great film. So guys, those are my top five favorite films, favorite romantic films. Um, I'm sure there's more, of course there's always more, but these are the ones I can come up with today. And uh, let me know if you agree. <laughs>